Hi everybody, it's time for another haul video. Let's go. Welcome back guys to another installment of A Week in Geekdom. First of all, I want to apologize somewhat for taking an unexpected weekly hiatus that tends to happen at, at least once every two months or so. So if you're new here, thank you so much. After doing the uh, SDCC videos, a lot of new subscribers jumped in, plus I did a small collab with uh, Comics Guy 101 on his Aquaman video, so a lot of people jumped from that into this channel so thank you so much this is a more laid back kind of channel we do book reviews right now we're not tackling movies but we do like to talk about movies here and collectibles and all that fun stuff that you and i love so yeah uh at the end of every month i do haul videos i highlight all the geeky stuff i acquired and if you like anything or anything piques your interest i should say let me know in the comments section down below and I will happily do a video on it. Also, since this channel is small, we're only at 1100 or so subscribers, I cannot do community posts. And that aggravates me because a lot of you don't, uh, I know this for a fact, a lot of you don't necessarily follow me on all the other social medias from Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook. But yeah, I the only way I can let you guys know is e either through Twitter or recording on these videos and I don't like leaving these messages that I'm doing right now I, it's just not my style I just like to do a clean concise uh, review and that's it and we move on to the next uh, awesome st uh, awesome content or whatever but yeah as a sort of a bulletin board um, yeah I took a brief hiatus I, I had to I had to take care of some stuff uh, in real life if you will and um, what was I gonna say since I don't have a community post, I couldn't inform you guys. So yeah, please uh, check, if you can, uh, A Week in Geekdom on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram maybe, where I'm constantly there posting stuff. And uh, I will let you know if there's a hiatus or if something happens. I couldn't do uh, uh, Invincible Discussion Video number 8. That will come uh, in August real soon. We're here now doing the haul and I have wasted precious time not talking about the nerdy items that were required so yeah we're gonna do trades manga figures and some blu-rays so let's start with manga as i typically do i did get my hero academia vigilantes volume one i am very much looking forward to reading this spin-off because the main series of my hero academia is pretty freaking fantastic i love this series very much so i'm really looking forward to uh, reading what this is all about. The Ancient Magus Bride, Volume 5, Volume 6. And Volume 6 comes with a limited edition or a special edition, like a special booklet. I didn't know about it. Apparently it was like the first printing that got it. So yeah, you get this special booklet, which is sort of like a extra manga chapter. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I love me some uh, Ancient Magus Bride. It's a beautiful series. I've done a review on the first volume if you want to check that out on this channel. Next up is a recommendation from the Otaku's Den. If you want to be a part of the Otaku's Den, a fantastic group on Facebook, you have to be a part of the Omnibus Collector community uh, there and once you're in there you can you have access to the many subgroups so one of the recommendations from the group is good night pun pun or pun pun or however you want to say it this is volume one uh i've started reading it and it's 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 interesting i i, I cannot wait to talk about this more in depth because i know a lot of people rave about this book and it is pretty uh pretty interesting also, for the not safe for work quota, I got Prison School Volume 10. I know. Let's move on to uh, trades while we're at it. I had to do it. My favorite DC superhero, this is Aquaman Rebirth Volume 5, The Crown Comes Down. I'm a little disappointed in this book simply because it's only four issues. It's three issues and an annual. 
come on, man. From the Hanna-Barbera universe, it is Jetsons, the uh, complete series. This is six issues. I've already, I had already read the first one when it came out and decided to wait for the trade because it was pretty freaking interesting. Next up, I got, I think for like real cheap money, is uh, The Amazing Spider-Man Brand New Day Volume 3. I did a trade with one of my best friends and I sort of... Uh, got rid of a bunch of Spider-Man stuff and decided to recollect the series in this uh, complete collection format. Uh, we've got Thanos from Donny Cates. Thanos wins. This Everybody talks uh, uh, very highly of this run, so I'm really itching to get started on that. Plus, that cover, that back cover has me intrigued. Last month, I did uh, mention that I was missing this. It's Dark Knight's Metal the Resistance, so that effectively finishes my Dark Knight's uh, collecting. I got all four, and it's a very weird way to collect it. I don't mind it, but it's funny that the main series is a deluxe hardcover. The other two, uh, the Batman thing, uh, <laughs> is a standard hardcover, same with the uh, prelude stuff, and then the tie-ins are just uh, chunky trade. Okay, now let's move on to hardcovers. Not a whole lot, but some pretty interesting things to show you guys. Ape Sapien the Drowning, this is the third and final, correct me if I'm wrong, the third and final Abe hardcover. Really excited to own this, Abe being one of my favorite characters in the Hellboy universe. I talked about it just now, Dark Days, The Road to Metal from Snyder and Gang. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to pay $12 on Comixology for just the two one-shots, when for uh, four or five extra dollars I could get it all bound in a cool-looking hardcover book. Mm. Amazing Spider-Man Worldwide Volume 2. I stopped at 1 and, and I sort of neglected my Spider-Man reading, so I finally got this to continue uh, my read-through uh, and, and uh, catch up on the webhead. This, because it was recommended to me, Avengers No Surrender. I'm not a huge Avengers book fan, but I wanted to check it out, plus uh, the cover looked interesting enough with Mark Brooks and... Uh, I guess I will uh, let you guys know if I like it or not. Also, this beauty right here, TMNT, the IDW Collection, Volume 7. Finally, I did a video last year where I said, like, hashtag give Mikey a cover, because he had, a, had an actual cover for these books, and now he has. It's not my favorite of the ones that they've done. I, I like this, by the way. But it's serviceable, it's good enough, and uh, yeah, seven of these bad boys. The definitive comic book for the uh, turtles in my honest opinion and this my last hardcover was a pickup from Prime Day I don't typically care for Prime Day but from a $50 retail price to get it for I think it was 18 bucks or something like that I wasn't gonna pass it up it is the world of Adina or Adana or however you say it from Mobius everybody knows about Mobius and and how great he is and all that stuff it isn't necessarily my cup of tea but the story looked interesting enough and uh, the art in it is fantastic so yeah I will do a video on it eventually so that's it for books now comes the really really nerdy part I did get uh, for Prime Day as well Rick and Morty season 3 I think this was for like nine dollars which is uh, what I would pay for this uh, season 3 uh, Blu-ray only and I took advantage of Right Stuff's uh, golden week or golden month sale uh, their 31st birthday sale or whatever so I got a bunch of anime and manga some did not arrive I'll show you eventually a uh, good chunk did though so yeah I did get My Year Academia season 2 part 2 on blu-ray I didn't have this, I only had uh, Seasons 1 and Seasons 2 Part 1. Now I have the whole uh, thing on home media. Next up, I am a big Gundam fan, but I must admit, Universal Century scared me because it's such a, a famous and long-ass uh, universe to watch and collect that um, I finally said, you know what? 2018 is the year. I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab all the UC stuff that I can. And I took the opportunity. I, I took this opportunity with the sale and stuff to get them for a lot cheaper, which is always great. So, 
here we are. This isn't all of it. Some of it did not arrive in time, but this is a good chunk. I'm gonna go buy them real quickly. Got Mobile Suit Gundam movie trilogy because I've this is the stuff that I had seen a few episodes of, and I kind of didn't want to slog through the whole series again, so I just picked up the three movies that recap the OG Gundam series. Got Zeta Gundam, Zeta Gundam Part Two, Char's Counterattack. Oh, you can't see that. There you go. We have this one, 0083, 8th MS Team. Mumble Suit Gundam The Origin. I know, there's two episodes missing. Hopefully, uh, uh, Nozomi and, and Right Stuff and all these guys and Sunrise, they put out those two remaining chapters on one single Blu-ray. Because it's going to suck if then they uh, forget about this format and put out like a complete collection. Gundam Unicorn, the complete um, OVA thingy thingamajig, and Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt December Sky. I cannot wait to do videos on the Gundam series like I mentioned a couple of months ago. I'm really excited about that. And last but not... Oh, oh, and by the way, you're paying so much money for these titles, for these Mobile Suit Gundam titles. The least you can do is give me some sort of slipcover or extra item even if it's like an insert page something don't just give me this and when i open it all i get is the disc and these stupid um uh what do you call this survey cards i don't care about the survey card and if you're not going to give me anything inside at least a nice looking insert um or excuse me a nice looking uh sleeve like let me pull it up like uh, My Hero Academia, see? I would have been comfortable with this, not just a hundred cases like this where it's just bare bones. I know there's like a limited edition, whatever, but these are already expensive enough and to get them like this with just the disc on them, it's a little down, it's a little bit of a downer, especially if you're a collector or if, you just, or if you're just a big movie fan and stuff like that. I wish uh, the release would have been handled a little bit differently in my honest opinion. Uh, last but not least, toys or collectibles, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this was my very first year where I woke up at 3 in the morning with uh, my friends over at the Omnibus Group and we uh, hunted down online pops for the whole summer convention uh, pop exclusives and all that. And I was able to get uh, three of the ones that I wanted. Here we have um, Gus in pajamas from Saga. It's flocked and exclusive. And from GameStop, that was Hot Topic by the way, from GameStop I did get Red Hood, Jason Todd himself. I also got, uh, I gotta give a sh big shout out to my friend Josh for helping me get Captain Caveman from Hanna-Barbera, but uh, that hasn't arrived yet, but I'll show it eventually. So thank you. Thank you, Josh. I owe you one. That's it for uh, this month's haul. I hope it was entertaining. Like I mentioned, uh, if you can, go to my social media stuff and like, follow, and all that stuff so you're up to date. Unfortunately, I wish I could tell you here on YouTube when I'm not going to be doing stuff. But uh, that's, that's uh, the downside of having low subscribers. But we can change that. You can share this content and you can find people that can like and uh, be subscribed as well to A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. Guys, thank you so much. Your subscription, your likes, comments, everything means the world to me. You are amazing, and I love you for it. Thank you. I will catch all of you on our next episode.